Hi. My name is JC McCauley. I'm Naisha McCauley, and, and you're, you're watching, watching AccessTV.org. Candid Conversation with Daryl Fitzgerald is a show where you will learn something new. It's a show for the courageous that wants to be engaged. A show where we discuss any issue that affects the lives of people. And a show where we take inventory of our lives Decision. Welcome to Candy Conversation with Daryl Fitzgerald. Welcome back to yet another episode of Candy Conversations with Daryl Fitzgerald, the show that you like because it's for you. You have embarked upon a very special episode. This is our first episode of the new spring season, and it is our third fashion and modeling episode. Some of my guests have seen the uh, premiere fashion modeling episode as well as the second fashion mo modeling episode. This is our third fashion modeling episode. We have some great guests in the studio audience with us. I'm very honored and excited about our guests that are here. We're going to be talking about a controversial topic as it relates to um, women. And um, so our topic is the woman's body as a canvas. Um, uh, female nudity and fashion modeling, is it bad? So we have some great guests in the studio who's going to um, help us in our discourse. And just want to introduce my guests to you. Um, flanked uh, to my right is uh, Mr. Um, Mike uh, Chaikin. He's an editor of CT Fashion Magazine, also a photographer and a journalist. Um, how are you, Mike, today? I'm very good. Thanks, Daryl. Well, it's good to see you. Is there anything you'd like to share with our viewing audience about yourself? Well, I mean, I've been a journalist since I graduated college in 1986. Um, 1988 was when I picked up my first camera and started off uh, photojournalism from there. And then about 2007, I decided to be a little more creative and got involved in uh, fashion photography and art photography. Oh, wh where are you currently um, right? Well, I'm an uh, editions editor for the Observers in Bristol, Plainville, and Southington, and uh, they also added last year uh, ctfashionmag.com, which was our fashion outlet. Oh, great, great. The other guest I have in the studio audience is a, a, a model, and her name is uh, Jay Wolf. She's a positive um, body model and also an actress as well as a public figure. Hi, Jay Wolf. Hi. Hi. Um, is there anything you'd like to share with our viewing audience about yourself? Um, well, I started modeling when I was 18, um, back in 2012. Um, I didn't start taking it seriously until about a year ago. And um, ever since then, I, you know, went on besides modeling into acting. And um, that's, that's pretty much it for right now, you know. Yeah, well, thank you for sharing that. There's a lot of controversy around this topic about um, viewing the woman's body as a canvas. And uh, the reason why I kind of wanted to get into this topic here in the show, because I see there's a lot of backlash uh, coming from um, people and particularly um, women and how they feel about um, their bodies and also how they feel about um, uh, female nudity in fashion and, and modeling. Now, uh, this concept of the woman's body as a canvas, um, do you see the woman's body as a canvas, uh, Mr. Chief? Yeah, Chief? I mean, I look at the female form in terms of uh, the you know geometry of the body and how light fits it. And, you know, I mean, for me, you know, what I'm able to do is capture kind of like a, you know, living sculpture through it. Um, most of the times, and you know, Jay Wolf probably will confirm is that when I'm in the mode of photography, um, I'm worried about the you know, woman as an artistic object, not so much as a woman. I mean, I, sometimes when I'm in the mode that I'm just not aware of the person, I'm playing with lights and angles and trying to get my concept. So for me, it, you know, a female form is my canvas. It's yeah. my preferred canvas. Your focus is very artistic, yes. you know, coming from an artistic perspective yes. as, a, as a journalist and uh, as a photographer yes. and an artist. Yes. Yeah. And um, 
I had a guest on the show, like one of my shows, A Candid Conversation. His name is uh, Clifford Lang. Mm -hmm. And we kind of talked a little bit about um, this idea of the woman's body as a canvas on a prior show. And it is customary in the artistic world. I mean, if you're, you go to any r good fine arts institution and yes. you're studying art and you're studying um, color and lines, it is it's very typical that the woman's body is used. You know, that's why they have models who actually mm -hmm. are yeah. posing um, in the nude. Uh, and they have to do uh, uh, expository and, and, and uh, uh, drawings and things like that yes. on the woman's body. It helps yes. them learn about uh, form and things of that sort. Yes. And, and lines and curves. So uh, this whole concept of you know the woman's uh, body as a canvas has been around for quite a long time. Yes. And yeah. uh, as we know, uh, the woman is beautiful. Yes. And the woman's body is beautiful. And no matter what shape or size, um, each woman is unique. Yes. Uh, Jay Wolf, um, how do you feel about this concept of, uh, how do you see um, the woman's body as a canvas? Well, first off, I agree with Mike. Um, you know, I look at it very artistic. The female body is beautiful. And I tried to express that personally, you know, artistically, like with nudity. Um, there's so many different themes that you go about with nudity. Mm -hmm. And um, it's just, to me, it's just beautiful to use the woman body, you know, as a platform to get across something, mm -hmm. you know. Would you say um, female nudity is bad? No. Okay. Well, you know, we're going to segue into um, one, of, one of your photographs, uh, yes. Jay Wolf. This is a photograph that uh, Mr. Mike Chaikin yes. uh, mm -hmm. actually took. Um, uh, we, oh, we have the photograph, yes. Um, this is your photograph, Jay Wolf. Uh, what were you trying to get across um, to the audience in, at this, in this particular um, photo shoot? I was trying to get across uh, self-confidence, um, loving your body. You know, there's not just, you know, in um, the modeling industry, you know, um, a lot of people think they need to reach a criteria of being, you know, thin, you know, skinny. But you don't have to be thin and skinny to be beautiful. As you can see, you know, I'm not a skinny, you know, thin, slim model. You know, I'm more curvy than most models are. So it was pretty much, you know, it was about loving yourself, loving your body, not wanting to change how you look to mm -hmm. meet, like, the status quo. Very dramatic photograph, you know. Um, uh, I, when I first saw it, it really it stood out to me, and that's why I really wanted to have it on, in the show. When what was the significance of let's say the segmentation like those 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 lines? It almost looks like it reminded me of like when I see a tailor who's um, tailoring a garment, you know, a fine garment, and you know they're doing the etchings and sketchings and things like that. Uh, can you um, elaborate a little bit about maybe what the significance of the the etchings that were actually on on Jay Wolf's body? I mean, when she came to me with the idea, I mean, you know, it was her idea initially to have kind of the plastic surgery marks. You know, when a plastic surgeon um, tries to uh, um, draw out what it's going to be, he or she's going to be doing in surgery, they'll often, um, you know, draw lines, right. you know, say they're, it's a tummy tuck, there'll be, you know, dotted lines. It just gives them ki some kind of direction. Um, and part of the, the task was when she came to me with the idea was, okay, how can we do that? Um, and how can I find a pose? And I mean, we shot for like three hours mm -hmm. trying to, you know, a bunch of different ideas. Mm -hmm. And that particular pose worked the best for that segmentation. It certainly creates a focus, you know, in terms of like, you know, pay attention, you mm -hmm. know, look at, look at the, look at the, the details. Um, look at the specific aspects yes. of, of the body. Uh, so, Jay Wolf, would you, would you say that nudity in fashion and modeling is a bad thing? Absolutely not. Um, I think it's how you, there's a certain way to do things. That's how, that's what I personally believe. Um, it's all about body language, um, the your face, the seductiveness of the photo, mm -hmm. you know, um, it's all about the positioning to the angles, everything, the lighting. Um, I don't think it's 
inappropriate you know everyone has a different you know opinion on what's inappropriate or not some people are, are more conservative than others but um i don't believe it's inappropriate you know by it's what you want to give yourself off to be perceived as there's certainly uh, a, a tastefulness that you can go about in terms of how yeah. you use nudity you know i mean it's an intent thing i mean you know if you're taking basically a glorified selfie or sexy photo, um, the intent is probably not artistic. I mean, you know, in times we've worked with together, Jay Wolf and I, um, you know, we go in there with a game plan. We know what we're going to convey, and. Um, I have an intent. This is the message I'm trying to, you know, share, or this is the image I'm trying to present. So, you know, nudity, you know, it's about intent. I mean, if it's just to have a dirty picture, that's not necessarily on a, you know, appropriate use of nudity. You know, and most photographers who, you know, or you know, visual artists who work with nudes, there's an intent for why they chose that particular image and that particular canvas. That's a great point, Mr. Chaykin. Uh, on that note, we're going to take a break here, Candy Conversations with Daryl. We're going to continue our conversation about uh, uh, female nudity in fashion and uh, in modeling when we get back. I started skipping school at the age of seven. My mom didn't realize until she actually went to go pick up my notes. And she realized I was getting left back. After that, I started hanging out with the wrong crew. I ended up in jail three times. Parents, what I'm trying to say is keep on top of your kids. Make sure you call, make sure you do what you gotta do. You know, parents, school is important. It's a big deal. At Hartford Public Schools, we care about one thing above all, the future of our kids. That's why we're dedicated to providing all students with the knowledge and skills needed in the new global culture. Hartford Public Schools is thriving. More student success stories, more world-class facilities, more university and corporate partnerships, more amazing talent coming and staying in Hartford. This is how education is supposed to work. Welcome to Hartford Public Schools, where the future is present. Welcome back to Candy Conversations with Daryl Fitzgerald. Uh, we're having a really great conversation about um, the woman's body as a canvas and whether um, female nudity in fashion and modeling is bad. Before we went to our first break, um, uh, journalist and uh, photographer Mike Chaikin, uh, who's also the photographer of uh, those photographs that we're seeing by uh, the Jay Wolf and the model Jay Wolf in them, uh, you made a very good point um, about the intent of a photograph and the intent of, let's say, the photographer or the artist who's depicting yes. the woman's body in nude. Um, because often, you know, sometimes you always, people think that a, a photograph has, this, of a woman in a nude has to always be uh, sexual. Mm -hmm. Like it's like, or um, then there's a way a picture can be depicted, whether there's a tastefulness yes. involved with how the photograph comes across. So I want to look at another photograph uh, by model uh, Jay Wolf. Uh, we have another photograph. I'd like to incorporate this picture in our discourse, in our conversation. 
Now, here is a really outstanding uh, photograph by uh, Model J. Wolf, and it is an example of a photograph that maybe some people would look at as um, a, a, nude, a nude photograph, mm -hmm. right? Uh, but I think it is done in a very, uh, very, very tasteful, you know, very tasteful way, you know. Um, you have any thoughts about this photograph, uh, Jay Wolf, about your own photograph? <laughs> well, um, I do like doing, you know, like the sexy side, you know, of, uh, you know, modeling. You know, I'm really um, not afraid to embrace my sexuality. And, um, but even with doing more of the sexier shoots that I do, I'm always careful not to um, become too um, erotic with it. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so it'll be more of like sexy, more confident. Um, so I'm very careful with like my positioning, but I do like having more of the sexy side, you know, to show people, you know, I'm diverse, you know, I can do artistic, but I can be, you know, sexy as well, you know, with my photographs. Definitely, there's, the image is, there's, there's, it's not a pornographic mm -hmm. image, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not like, you know, there are certain things that we're seeing from the body, like yeah. the woman's actual private part or, yeah. Yeah. or a woman's breast. Or something like that. Yeah, I mean, know. I can see I mean, that the intent for the, her was to, you know, it's a pretty image. You know, she's showing off her curves, and you can see, um, you know, the artistic, you know, angles, and, you know, she's posing in a way, too, that's strong. Right. Yeah. Why do you feel uh, women sometimes are uh, offended by pictorial images of other women that, that bear nudity? I mean, it's, you know, I, I have found, and it's an interesting story, a couple of years ago, I was involved with an art show at uh, the Russian Lady. Oh, and, okay. um, in Hartford. Yes, in Hartford. Yeah. And uh, I was showing some of my nude work. And it was interesting to watch um, the reaction of the people going by. Men automatically zeroed in on... Uh, the body parts. They weren't seeing the message and you know so you know they were kind of asked questions about that. Mm -hmm. When you would see a male female couple walk by the woman always kind of walked on the inside past the images and steered her man away from it and the man was always looking straight ahead. Um, women would look at the nudes when there was a group of women and they would actually ask me questions about the message. Um, they would comment on the artistic aspect of it. So I think sometimes um, the, the problem with nudity is the problem between men and women. You know, women aren't necessarily um, threatened by nudity, but when you throw a man in the question, then there's the concern about why is my man looking mm -hmm. at the nudity. So that may play part of it is um, just the, uh, you know, uh, the war between the sexes. Mm -hmm. Would you like to address that question to Jay Wolf? Why do you feel that uh, some women are offended by seeing other uh, women in, in, in nude, you know? The, yeah. Um, does it think, does it have anything to do with like what you were trying to communicate about the potty, positive body imaging or maybe the way women see themselves and see their bodies and yeah I totally agree with you know Mike you know what he said um, uh, women are more comfortable around other women you know being exposed to nudity because as soon as men come into the room um, they're like oh like you know especially if, if it's their spouse um, they don't want their man lusting after another woman and you know if she has and it can also be an insecurity issue too you know that woman has you know like nicer boobs than I do and he's staring at her or a nicer butt than I do and he's staring at her butt and then it makes them feel like wow like I I wish I looked like her you know it's kind of um that jealousy you know right. envious you know right. of the other woman mm -hmm. but if it's all together you know if they're grouped together they're like wow she's so beautiful you know like this is a great <laughs> right. picture you know and i it's definitely a battle between you know the sexes you know because women do feel like you know the male dominant you know like oh like women you know male dominance like uh, <laughs> sorry male dominance that it just interferes with 
you know, how they feel, mm -hmm. you know, about mm -hmm. themselves personally. I think a lot of women too, they're concerned about how like even like with how men portray women too. Mm -hmm. And through through nudity, oh yeah, and um, how they how they visualize or present their image of of the woman's body, and whether or not like they're objectifying the woman mm -hmm. strictly yes. for like their own uh, 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 sexual lust. Yeah, yeah. I know? mean, there is a tradition yeah. at museums. I even heard a uh, woman artist mentioned that about the only way women artists can get into a museum is by being in a painting nude. Right. You know, mm -hmm. there is that kind of power structure still in, you know, the art world and um, nudity is a certain amount of vulnerability. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, because somebody is taking that picture um, and, you know, the woman is all exposed. Mm -hmm. So there is that kind of vulnerability. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I can't let uh, this segment end without me asking both of you this question because um, I know you two are very passionate about yeah. what you do. We all yes. are very, very passionate about yeah. the arts and, and, yes. and what we do and, and, and actually sharing the arts with the world, you know. Uh, what was the most exciting um, uh, photo shoot that you've ever been involved in, Mr. Chaykin? I mean, I'm always <laughs> of the school of thought that the most exciting photo shoot I've done is the one that I just did. Okay. Because there's always a sense of improvement or building upon the ideas. Right. Um, and, you know, and, and photo shoots where the subject is excited by it. Right, right. You know, I mean, um, you know, there have been times Jay Wolf and I have finished up a shoot and, um, you know, she's really excited by the images. That makes me excited. Mm -hmm. Right. And when somebody looks at the images and, you know, and has not involved with it, that makes me excited. Right. Well, Jay Wolf, do you have a favorite, uh, a favorite sh a photo shoot that you've been involved in? Well, Most I've exciting. done so many. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, yeah. um, I've had very like many successful um, photo shoots, so it's really you know it's really hard to pick um, from them. Um, I think ultimately my favorite shoot ever was probably um, my first nudity shoot. And um, it was with um, a photographer named Kat um, Boyce. It must have been and very liberating. Yes, it was great because I'd never done anything like that before. And it was in the woods and it was like 5 o'clock in the morning. And I wore no makeup. It was all natural. And I felt, I think that was the point in time when I like really felt like empowered you know, by being, you know, nude in mm -hmm. the woods and being, you know, one with nature and creating art. And that's what pretty much inspired me to not only do, mm -hmm. you know, lingerie modeling, fashion modeling, but also to do artistic nude modeling, you know, like, mm -hmm. I was like, why not give it a go and give my, you know, um, the Jay Wolf <laughs> edge to nudity modeling so did you say that you feel most free when you're when you're modeling in, yeah. in, in the nude mm -hmm. yeah, at least that's what you mentioned to me mm -hmm. I just want to look at this last uh, another photograph of Jay Wolf this is a, another photograph that's actually uh, a, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a well I'm gonna ask you the viewing audience um, what do you think of, <laughs> what do you think about this this is an actual nude um, uh, but you probably wouldn't really be able to tell that it's actually a new photograph. This is another photograph by uh, Mr. Mike Chaikin, um, the photographer here. Uh, Jay Wolf, in, uh, in closing the segment, would you like to tell us a little bit about this particular image of yourself? Well, when Mike showed me the wings for the first time, I went crazy because I was like, yes, you know, like this is different. You know, I, I like anything that's different, creative. And um, I thought to myself, you know, at this time in my life, I was going through a hard time and, uh, I was thinking, you know, what kind of poses I want to do, you know, to embrace, you know, like just the metal wings, mm -hmm. you know, there's no feathers on them. They're not normal wings. And I was in my head, I envisioned, you know, a, you know, a fallen angel, you know, an angel that's broken, you know, that she can't fly yet. And that's what I embraced with the photo shoot, you know, with the my hands, you know, mm -hmm. praying to God, like, help me, you know, be able to fly again. And um, <laughs> that's what pretty much I was, you know, thinking, envisioning when I was doing this shoot. Mm -hmm. And it was probably one of my favorite shoots, actually, um, with Mike um, that I got to do with him. Yeah. 
And I really like it uh, because it goes, goes, goes back to what we were saying in other segments is that it's what's the intent, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and then is it done tasteful? Yes. You know, what's the intent of the, the photograph that's a, a nude and is it done tasteful? And on that note, uh, we're going to take a break here at uh, Candy Conversations with Daryl Fitzgerald. We'll see you after the break. My name is Jay Stan McCauley, and uh, I do business as Light Source Productions. I provide professional services in the area of strategic video communications. Uh, first, what we do is we help you craft your message uh, using what I call the rule of the five W's, who, what, when, where, and why. We do event documentation, uh, content acquisition, full-scale productions, um, editing, and, of course, distribution uh, through our social media television network. And with social media, uh, video is more important now than it has ever been. Uh, whether you're talking big business, small business, nonprofit, church, or just an individual. Uh, let's say you, you know you you plan a, a, you're planning an event, a wedding, whatever the case may be. But but let's say a big event, uh, but no video. And you spend all this time, all these hours, uh, to put this event on, and maybe a hundred, two hundred people attend the event. But more important than that is that thousands could attend by watching it on social media. But of course, you don't think about this until after the event is over. You can't afford not to capture it for social media. And despite what people think, I am affordable. Give me a call. Let's plan your next video project and share it with the world on my social media television network. I promise you that you will have the attention of one person, me. Welcome back to Candy Conversations with Daryl Fitzgerald, the show that you like because it's for you. And we're continuing our wonderful conversation about uh, the woman's body as a canvas and whether um, nudity and um, fashion and modeling is a, is a bad thing. And we've come to some really good insights about that because a lot of it has to do with the intent of the person who's creating the pictorial image and also like the tastefulness and how they're representing um, the, the woman's body. Um, I really appreciate uh, Jay Wolf uh, you sharing with me about the uh, the fashion show that you were in and, and communicating about uh, you know one of the more memorable fashion shoots uh, mm -hmm. that you did photo shoots that you did. Mm -hmm. And uh, speaking of uh, photo shoots, uh, we just came off of a, a wonderful event that just happened in uh, Glastonbury, uh, Connecticut. It's called the Do You Have What It Takes event, and it was a, a fashion um, and dance. Uh, and also a music event. It was really a great event, um, the Do You Have uh, What It Takes event. And I had the pleasure of being involved um, with the coordination of the event. We had a great time. And uh, to broaden our discourse, we have one of the models uh, that's here uh, that was at the Do You Have uh, What It Takes uh, event. Uh, actually, that was an event that uh, 3W Management Incorporated and um, Desire Dance Studio of Meriden, Connecticut um, was involved with as well in terms of the coordination. Uh, so welcome to our uh, the Candy Conversations um, set, uh, Deja Hi. Lawrence. How are you? This is one of the, you're one of the models that was at, at the Do You Have What It Takes event. Yeah. Um, is there anything you'd like to share with our view audience? Um. Well, my overall like input on like how the show was it was good it was like a good experience um i feel like my best part of it was like getting to meet a lot of people i met like a lot of interesting people i seen a lot of people a lot of people have a lot of different type of talents so overall my favorite part was like getting to wear and you know walk in front of many people did you so you enjoyed yourself yeah. yeah what was the atmosphere like um there if you had to use one a one word adjective or a couple of one word adjectives as far um, as like the, the, the feeling um, at the event? I would say it was like more fast paced, upbeat. Yeah. Um, it was like you just had to be ready. Oh, so. be, it's just about be ready. 
Now, I'm fortunate because of, you know, Deja, you actually were the, was a model that modeled um, one of my designs. Yes. For the, uh, the COC, the Campaign of Courage. And uh, we actually have a photograph of you uh, uh, walking uh, with that particular modeling, uh, the Campaign of uh, Courage, uh, Be Courageous, uh, woman's um, pink sparkling um, A-line t-shirt. And uh, I was just really honored because that's the first time um, that design has actually been um, on the runway or anyone has modeled it. So I'm, I'm really fortunate that you, you were the first person to um, actually uh, model that uh, for me. Thank you for giving me the opportunity. Yeah. And I want to just mention that that photo was done uh, by Illuminated at uh, Consomio. Uh, just want to credit the photographer, uh, the photographer, photography agent who produced that photograph. It was Illuminated at Consomio. And uh, Jay Wolf also want to give uh, credit to uh, uh, 715 Photography for um, uh, the second photograph that we showed uh, with mm -hmm. you in the pink. Make sure they get uh, credit for that. 715 That's Photography uh, did that photograph and did a wonderful, a wonderful job. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so uh, that was, uh, Deja, was that your first uh, photo shoot? Yes, that was. Yeah, uh, and your first time walking down the runway? Yeah. Yeah, people, you probably wouldn't even you know it because uh, you did such a phenomenal, uh, you, you did a phenomenal job. We're just going to look at a couple of the photographs uh, from the Do You Have What It Takes um, a fashion event, um, and dance event, and uh, music event that was in Glastonbury. Here's another photograph of uh, Deja uh, on the runway uh, modeling a very spectacular, beautiful uh, silver evening gown. Very nice, very nice. And uh, also, I just want to look at another photograph uh, of Deja um, modeling, um, more so some um, kind of like a kind of like chic uh, urban wear. Yeah, uh, look, looks very nice. And uh, the the the, uh, the designer uh, for that particular um, top and jacket um, is uh, from the Key Ace Collections. Uh, Key Ace Collections is attributed to that. Just want to make sure the designer also gets credit for that. I wish I could give credit for the designer the way you wore the uh, the silver, uh, the sparkling evening gown, but yeah. I actually don't know who the designer was. So please forgive me. I don't know who the designer is. But, uh, you know, we, we've been talking about um, the woman's body as a canvas. And um, do you have any thoughts about um, the representation of, um, of women's body or Deja? Well, my personal intake on it, I would think, well, I don't think that it's a bad thing. I feel like it depends on how you're representing, like how the photographer wants to take the photo, make sure it's like respectable, not something that's just of her body. Make it tasteful, make it something that's like you'll want to look at, not just something that's nude. So right. that's my personal intake on it. Yeah, that's what we were talking about um, in earlier segments too, about you know pictures of women in the nude are not, don't always have to be excessively uh, sexual. And then again, even if a, an image is uh, sexual, it's, it's how you present it and whether it's being done tastefully, you know, um, the intent of the person that's creating the image, you know. Yeah. Um, it's really interesting. Do you feel um, empowered when you model, Deja? I mean, how do you feel? Like when you walk down the runway, how, how do you feel? I feel good. I feel, I don't know, I feel like it's a, it's a good feeling. It's like something... I don't know, it's like, um, it's comfortable, it's like a different take, like like I can take on the world, kind of. Isn't it, is it exciting? Yeah, is it's it like a rush. You get, you get like, you look at a rush. Yeah. So it's like, is it a, like a really huge um, confidence, confidence bo boost? Yeah. yeah. Isn't it? Now, how do, how do you feel, uh, I know you go through probably a lot of different, depending on what the type of photo shoot it is, yes. uh, Jay Wolf. But typically, how do you feel when, when, you're, when you do a photo shoot, you're behind the camera? When I do a photo shoot, it's probably the happiest thing ever. Uh, modeling <laughs> makes me so happy, more than I think anyone knows. Um, when I'm in front of the camera, especially if I come up with the idea uh, myself, you know, I think of a vision that I want to go along with the ideal that I have. And it's very en empowering being you know behind the camera and you have the vision you have a great artistic ideal in your head and you can't wait 
for people to see it, you know, through the lens and everything, through the photographs and how it comes out. And, you know, most of the time it's, I feel great because I work with phenomenal photographers. Yeah, you really do. And um, I think they really get what my vision is when I explain it to them. And I've never had a problem with them captivating, like, what I wanted, you know, through a photograph. And it's just empowering feelings when I get the results back. And I'm like, yes. That's it's really, what it's I really amazing the, the type of input, um, you know, that you have, you know, and that you work with photographers that actually are open to your vision, mm -hmm. you know, and, um, you know, I, I found you to be a very empowered, you know, woman, extremely, extremely empowered. And it's great to hear from the voices of actual models who are, um, you know, in the industry and actively involved in the industry and hear from your voices in terms of how you how you feel and why. It's so important, you know, what you do. Um, Deja, do you, do you see yourself um, continuing um, with um, a modeling in the future and stuff? Yes, I do. Yeah, well, I, I think that's, I, so you had, a, you had a good experience. So yeah. it, was, it was worthwhile for us to have this event, uh, the Do You Have What It Takes event in, in Glass of Ray. Yeah. It, it gave you a real uh, a rush to continue in your career um, with, with modeling. So, you know, that's, 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 that's really fantastic. Um, what are, what are your future sites, uh, Jay Wolf, and uh, can you share with our audience um, how they can um, be connected to you? I mean, if you have any information you'd like to share about, you know, if you want the audience to know about how they can reach you, how they can connect with you um, as a model, as an actress, or as a public figure. Yes, um, I think the best way to contact me is, you know, through my Facebook or Instagram. You know, everything is Jay Wolf. It's really not that hard. You type it in on Facebook and then, you know, I pop up, you know, right there. Um, my future, you know, with, you know, everything that I'm doing, you know, ultimately I would love to be, you know, a actress, you know, get a star role in a movie, you know, someday. Most, I really want to be in action films. So that's the dream. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> action films. Uh, modeling, I, I love more than anything too. Like I balance you know both I'm always all over the place with everything um, I give everything I got in you know 100 percent into mm -hmm. both because you know I want to grow far mm -hmm. you know with both of those careers and I seen myself progress so much in a year yeah, with you're modeling very, you're very diverse too you know I, I can see it you know and, mm -hmm. and I, it's good that you put your goals out there in the universe and atmosphere yeah you know definitely um, Deja, would you like to share anything else with us about uh, your experience? That do you have what it takes, and uh, what maybe what some of your idea, your goals are in the future with with modeling? Well, my goals are in the future f will be more so to do like more photos, take more photos. Um, runway, I feel like that would be more of like a, a back seat for me. I enjoyed it, but I would rather more so take pictures and you know go forward like that. Mm -hmm. um, but overall, my experience was lovely. I so enjoyed you, you it. Wanna, you're going to be building up your portfolio, yeah. As well, as well. I think you both have two um, uh, stellar careers you already have, you know, ahead of you. Thank you. And I uh, really appreciate you being here uh, on Candid Conversations uh, with Daryl Fitzgerald. Thank you kindly, and uh, hopefully, I'll look forward to working with you sometime in the future. I uh, just want to thank our audience for uh, tuning in to Candid Conversations with Daryl Fitzgerald, the show that you like because it's for you. And I hope that what we shared today in our discourse was really enlightening about how we look at the uh, woman's body, how we depict uh, images of the woman's body, and, and how we uh, come to our own conclusions about how we look at um, images of women that bear um, nudity. So I want to thank you. I'll see you next time.